Hey everybody, welcome back, and thanks for joining me. If you're as big a Superman fan as I am, you're gonna like this one. So today we're gonna draw Crypto from the upcoming film, Super Pets. So here are some things I noticed about Crypto that will help you draw him almost perfectly every single time. Let's do this breakdown. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna outline a line of action. So here we go. So you're gonna go straight down and have a swooping motion and then back down like that. We're gonna start with his head. His head is an oval shape. Going from your shoulder and not your wrist, we're gonna start to outline his head. So lay down your pencil, hover above your paper and circle till you have something that you like and then put your pencil down. So the next thing that we're gonna draw is his chest. And his chest is gonna fall approximately one head size down from his head. And the chest we're gonna do as a circle. This chest will be approximately two head sizes. So lightly putting in another head size or leaving a gap, you, you can use another head size and then you can lightly draw in two more if you'd like. So two more approximately that size really light okay and this is just a guide so that we can lay in our circle for his chest okay so once you have the circle for his chest we're going to lay out where his hips are going to follow and his hips are going to be approximately one oval head width or height, I should say, over from uh, his chest. So this width here, the oval on a circle, that we're gonna leave approximately that amount of space, and then we're gonna put his hips here, okay? So this line of action should actually be something like this. Okay, so using these circles, what are we gonna do? So for his head, we're going to have him looking to the left. So we're going to draw a line to represent where the center line of his face is. And halfway through his head is going to sit his nose and his eye line every single time. So halfway through, since he's looking straight on in this particular case, we're going to draw a line straight, straight across. Okay, approximately where the circles meet, you're going to draw a line going down at an angle like this. Okay, and then from out from this line here, we're going to join at the circle. And then a little bit of a curve. Okay, so we're starting to see his head already. Now his nose is very triangular, so it's going to sit from the center of his eye line pretty much down to the bottom of that circle. Okay, now you've got his nose in. The next thing we're going to want to do is throw in some circles for his eyes here and another one here just ever so slightly from that one. Okay, you can go light. We're going to do an eyebrow line. Crypto has heavy eyebrow lines for expression in this movie. So put one on this side and we're going to put one on this side. His mouth always comes in in the center, very dog-like. So up and then down. just below there, okay? His ears will start on each side of the head and you'll notice that they go slightly up, okay? And you can use the eyes as a guide. They go slightly up and then they will go out and they will wrap back around to that original circle like this. And then keeping a triangular shape, you can bring it back up to almost that first corner 
like so. Okay, so same thing on the other side. We're going to go slightly up. And then in this particular case, it's going to go out and around to the circle. Okay, so it goes around and starts wrapping in. Like that. Now it would wrap to the circle, but we're not seeing it because of the nose. Okay. So now we're going to go from the back of the head and we're going to go straight down to this circle. Like this. And it's going to start curving around there to the back of the butt. Okay. So just a slight curve to the back of the butt. So from here, you're going to start near the circle where they join and you're going to come down at an angle to the front of his chest. Okay and it's going to curve around around that circle and back up okay and we're going to want to drop this circle a little bit if it's not already and back up like that okay so from there we can do the back legs now the back legs what's going to happen is from the beginning of this circle here, you're going to come down slightly. Okay, and then we're going to curve back in. Now, how far down are we going to go from there? We're going to go approximately the same size as this chest or the two circles of the head. So the chest is this big. The bottom is going to be approximately this big as well. And that's where the line of his legs is going to sit. So this leg sits outwards. So it comes down, curves like this, as such. And then you can put in a little arch to represent his foot. Okay, the back of that is going to follow his butt, like this, and then start to curve out here, like that, and come down. So around the butt, curve out and down, and then curve in on that side, okay? So from the other side, the inside leg, it's going to come out from this circle very lightly, same thing, but we're not going to see it on the inside because it's covered by his body. So it comes out to about here, same thing. It's going to curve in like such, and we can add in a little circle there to represent his feet okay so from the back of the circle it's going to wrap around and come in like this like we did with the other one and then back out to basically his heel of his foot and then it's gonna come almost straight in maybe just a slight curve like this okay so from here we're going to add in the front feet. So I'm just going to darken this up a little bit so that we see that this one's in front. And then the front feet. So the front feet, one is going to come down from this circle straight down. And we can have it straight like that and put in his paw. And then the other one will sit up almost center approximately. So Starting from the center, we're going to put a line going at an angle down to the bottom of the chest circle and then come in at the rest of the angle to meet. Okay, so now to add the other leg. So to add the other leg, it's going to be the same kind of thing, except that we can see part of his shoulder. So part of his shoulder is going to come out from this circle right here, just out ever so slightly and then back in okay and then if we follow this particular line here from this leg and we go down at an angle like a triangle we can start here and draw this leg out on this side like this add the paw and this one can join the bottom okay 
So we've already got basically crypto in place and looks pretty good. So what you want to do now is add in his tail and his tail is just a quick little swooping motion downwards and back up. So we swoop down and up. It's going to go from small at the tip to a little bit bigger near his bum and do it like this. Okay. So now we're going to do the chest plate and the cape. So the chest plate is going to go from the circle and the neck where they meet to the other side, circle and neck where it meets. So from approximately here, we're going to go straight down and then curve around. So keeping it tight just below it on this side, we're going to come pretty straight down. And then we're going to triangle back out here. Okay. So you can curve that ever so slightly, curve it ever so slightly on this side. Now you can add in the shield just below it, so another line that follows suit just like that, and angles back up on this particular side. On this side we can hint at it angling back in, okay? So now we're going to do the cape, and the cape is going to flow from that chest plate neck portion all the way back to approximately the tail. We're going to have it swoop down and then up and back down towards the tail. So we can have it start just above, swoop down, back up and towards the tail. So we're going to do the same thing on the inside, but we're going to start a little bit more on the inside of the neck where the chest plate reaches. Okay, so we're going to swoop down, up, and it's going to come back down like this. And then back up to reach the back of the cape. Okay. Now the other side of the neck is going to swoop from back here. But we're not going to start it. And then just join up there. Okay. Around his neck here we can show the bump of the cape. And on the top here we can show the inside of the cape as well. Okay. Just like that. So if you're starting to have too many lines here, pull out your eraser, start erasing a little bit, and then draw them back in. Okay? So the back of the cape curves down slightly, like we have it. So this is going to... We're going to see the inside of here, like that. Okay, so now we're just going to lighten this up with our eraser, and then darken it back up in the lines that we like. Or grab your marker and go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab my eraser. And I'm going to get rid of some of the lines that are in the way. So just in here in the neck, from in my particular case, I don't like these. Maybe get rid of this one here, a little bit here. Notice I'm not going crazy. This, this isn't a big deal. I'm just getting rid of the ones that are really kind of in the way of my final drawing. I actually need that one. So I'm going to leave it. And this one I don't. Okay. And then this one's going to be gone. Right out here. This was no good. This is our line of action. So you're going to keep this one here, right? And then this one on the inside is going to be gone. Okay. So we're going to go back over at this point. So grabbing your pencil, you're going to trace over your lines neatly as possible or your marker. Okay, here we go. That's crypto. So I hope that helped you. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Send me your images. I'd love to see them. And don't forget your signature. 
See you next time. Thanks again.